Uh, these previous weeks, I've been a lot at left tackle, but uh, you know, I've obviously had a tons of reps at right tackle. Last season, I played all right tackle, but uh, I mean, it's just I like both sides, so I mean, it's fun for me to you know kind of just go back and forth between those two. But uh, yeah, I was playing mainly left, and I was playing right this last week. So. Yeah. Okay, I'm okay. I can respond right Yeah, no, just like you said, you know, I'm just I had, I went through last year. Um when the news came out, you know, I was it didn't really shock me, it didn't really phase me. I was just I was ready to go, prepared. Uh I knew what the task in front of me was and I and I uh, handled business. So. Mm. Yeah. I uh actually slimmed down a little bit and, and beefed up, I guess. <laughs> Leaned out. Um, I was probably 320 last season, in the last season. I'm like 310 now. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I really I really put a lot of work in this off season. I was with uh, Duke Mannyweather for majority of it. And then uh, I was up here, of course, with uh, Coach Harold. Um, Why did you go down? Hmm? Oh, I just, uh, I was just eating healthier. I wasn't really trying to lose weight. I was just eating healthier. Drinking, drinking all my water is just that's just the weight I naturally came to, and I was feeling good there, so I just decided to stick to it. But the weight train is very uh, position specific, mm -hmm. right? So when you work yeah. Legs, this legs, this off season, I, I focus mainly on my lower body. Um, that's where I feel my biggest strengths have come from. I feel more powerful, I feel more rooted, rooted into the ground, and uh, yeah, I put I really did put a big emphasis on my lower body this off season. Yeah, so this was like the first first time they did it. They didn't do it last year, uh, obviously because of you know COVID and everything. But uh, they just announced it uh, one day during training camp, and uh, it was a, bu a big group of guys and. Um, they gave everyone T-shirts, and then we took a big picture, and uh, it was a pretty cool deal. And then we got our own uh, parking spot in the uh, in the uh, parking garage over there. So I'm kind of up front, and I don't got to walk that far. So that's a blessing. So, so did, yeah, I think it's the whole season. Mm -hmm. Did they have golf carts out at Marriott, at River Ridge? Mm. In, in the past, you used to get the award winners would get to ride around. Oh, for real? Cart out at oh, I I didn't know that. Uh. Oh, well, you need to talk to them about that. Yeah, <laughs> for real. They didn't tell me about that one. Mm, I don't think so. No, I didn't see it in there. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, no, so I wasn't there. I, w I didn't live in San Antonio when the, the Cowboys were training in the Alamo Dome, but uh, the fan base in San Antonio is, is crazy. It's it's uh, everyone down there loves loves their Cowboys, and this their emblems are everywhere. Back of cars, just the front people got flags in their front yard and stuff. But uh, yeah, no, San Antonio was they had a huge fan base out there. Uh. I really just proved that all the hard work I put in this off season has come to fruition, and uh, it's also proved that I'm not not done yet. I still got a lot more to prove to myself. Um, that's just a start. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's Joey Bosa. He's done a lot of great things in the league. Um, uh, he's going to continue to do a lot of great things. It's just. It was just on that day I won. Yes, uh, so. You always say, "Oh, Terrence is gonna get a lot of help, uh, Zach, and for the tight end chip or whatever." Yeah. Things that you got, both of one on one a lot. Yeah. That, how much of a pride does that say they trust you with him one on one in mm -hmm. such a situation? Yeah, no, that's that's a lot of. I like that. You know what I'm saying? I want. I kind of wanted that. I wanted it to be like that. I want the one on ones. I, don't, I really don't want help. You know what I'm saying? But. Um, yeah, I mean, I just, just went out there, did my job, and just everything, everything was good, so.
Jerry Jones, Jerry Jones singled you out on his radio show for your for boys. He wanted mm. to make sure that people knew about how well you played there. Your thoughts on here and the man that signed the check said, check there still. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's always a good thing when the when the boss man is uh, high on you. So um, I just want to continue to show him that I can do this week in, week out. So. Yeah, I focus mainly on my just my lower body, strengthen, strengthening my lower body and really my core too. Um, as an old lineman, those are two big things that you need to be successful and be dominant in this league. So that's what I was working on. Yeah, I did actually. I just, I just wanted to, um, I felt like I was lacking a little bit especially towards the end of the season, just just my lower body wise, just personally where I wanted the bees wasn't wasn't it last season, so uh, I put the work in for that. So uh I mean how can you not respect their D line, you know what I'm saying? They got a bunch of monsters on there. But uh no, I'm excited. I mean, you know we saw them two times last year. This uh two times this year I'm trying looking for that revenge so Mm. Yeah, yeah, we're more familiar with them, so um, that kind of makes it exciting to get to see the same guys again and uh, go against them. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Uh, they're they got some depth at the end and. Uh, they got, they got a guy they're going to throw in there. Um, of course, Graham's like a huge part of their defense and a leader that they're going to be losing out on. But uh, I feel like they got a decent um, guy to replace him with. So. Nah, I ain't say, nah, I ain't say that. <laughs> what did Philbin tell you about these five games and what he was looking for from you and how, and how they were going to approach you? Um, I think it's just kind of expected for me to just – I don't know, just do my job and just do the best way I can. Um, I feel like Coach Hillman has a lot of faith in me. He's told me that many times, and uh, just went out there and proved it to him. Mm. Uh, no, I, no, I, this is 100% home. I love Dallas. Uh, everything about this fan base, this organization, I love, and I just I don't want to leave here. And uh, um, every day I come to work with that passion to stay here and not leave. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I love it here for sure. Can you talk about the differences of, of playing offensive line in the Big Twelve, very pass heavy league, yeah. to, to this adjustment in the National Football yeah. League and your comfort zone here in year two? I was actually just talking uh, talking about that earlier. So yeah, in the Big Twelve, we were definitely more pass heavy. Um, this is what I'm used to. I mean, it's air raid offense, and then we come here, and then we, like just like last week, we ran the ball a lot more. Uh, I like running the ball. It's just I don't know the adjustment. Um, the the adjustment had to come in the run game, just so I can get you know in the pace of everything. But it can it can together well. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, like and stuff. Yeah, no, nothing changes. We still got our rules and um doesn't matter who's who's in the backfield, we know they're gonna do the best job to uh, get as many yards as possible. So but no, it doesn't change anything for the O line though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Lyle, Tyron, and um, yeah, I just picked a Tyna Seki too. I just I try to pick their brains as much as I can. Uh, I don't want to be annoying though, so most of the times I'm just sitting back and watching how they just do everything, um, just observing, just everything they do pretty much. Just pick up on little cues I can just add to my life and just make me a better player and stuff like that. Yeah, there's been a, there's been some things in practice I've. I've seen him do that he's had success with, and I just try to add that to my game. What, what should Cowboy fans know about him? Because he's been here for so long, but I know he's great, 
Time. That he's so quiet yeah. Really uh. Really he's really like a big kid, and I, I know he likes anime. Uh, I know he watches that a lot. Um, I'm not. I'm, me personally, I don't watch anime, but you know, I have a lot of respect to people who do because it's a pretty cool little deal. But uh, yeah, I think he's just a big kid, pretty much. Yeah. Well, thanks for the time. Yeah, appreciate you.